What is going on, everybody? I am back with a couple of topics, a couple of talking points within the topics. Has nothing to do with sports. It's not sports related. It's totally political driven. Everything that from this point forward will be political driven, UFC or movie reviews. I'm not talking sports as in like contracts and anything like that. I'm just talking about humanity and what we need to do going forward. And let's start off with the Sixers organization wanting to build a $1.3 billion stadium in Center City just for the basketball team, which means it would be more money spent on that stadium in nine years than Madison Square Garden in New York, which holds the New York Rangers, the New York Knicks, concerts, boxing matches, and UFC events. What is the problem with this? Now, based off taxpayers paying, there's no problem with it because there's no taxpayers paying for it. But this is where it shows billionaires' mindsets not being there when it comes to the public perception of them or of them trying to please the public. Because number one, a majority of the people that pay for tickets to go to the Sixers games are from the suburbs. It's a fact, it's not an opinion, that is a fact. How the hell are they gonna get there, all right? They're not gonna take the SEPTA because God knows what happens down in the SEPTA. As you read the reports about homeless people and people that are poor-minded, pushing people in front of trains, stabbing people, shooting people. Um, so taking a SEPTA to get to the stadium, I don't know how things are gonna be in nine years. Everything's gonna jump up from inflation. I mean, you see it right now. So I don't know how things are gonna be in nine years, but right off the bat, SEPTA, poor choice. Uh, traffic is an absolute disaster down there as it is. So what, when you're putting the thought process, what, what's the problem with staying at the Wells Fargo Center? Like, I, I don't really understand that. They just renovated the building. They literally just renovated the building. And you want to move already? Is your, is your relationship with the Philadelphia Flyers that soured? Like, I, I don't really understand it. And another thing I want to talk about. There's this thing called Live Golf, funded by the Saudi government, who had a lot to do with funding of 9-11, all right? So people are losing their morals, people are losing their souls for taking hundreds of millions of dollars over the PGA Tour to go to Live Golf, all right? Understandable, because it's money, whatever. People don't have a soul, they'd rather get paid than, you know, have morals, but it is what it is. In my opinion, Live Golf starts a domino effect, which means in nine years, the NBA may, may not even be a thing. So you are planning for something that may not even be there in nine years. You think that these golfers, in my opinion, golf isn't the most popular sport on the face of the earth. I think soccer and American football are. Possibly baseball and, ba well, basketball too. But that brings, it, that brings me to another point. If you're paying these golfers hundreds and millions of dollars to come play for an event for a Saudi Arabian funded organization, what makes you think that they won't dig into other sports like basketball, football, soccer, and just pay mediocre to average players five million more than they'd get just to bring them over and ruin the sports in America? What makes you think they won't do that? You know, everything nowadays, it just seems like humans want to ruin each other. So, if Live Golf is going the way it is right now, what makes you think that in nine years, Live won't own everything or dig into everything and ruin every single sport across America? What makes you think that won't happen? As I see it, a domino effect has happened multiple times. This wouldn't be the first time. Money talks, bullshit walks. The Saudi Arabian government has trillions, maybe not trillions, but billions to at least a trillion dollars that they could just fuck around with. They'll just pay people just to pay them. And they won't even need to bring in any revenue, any profit from it. They'll just do it just to do it because they have it. So what makes you think that they're going to just, that, that these leagues are going to be a thing? You know, you're, you're talking about nine years from now, you know? So this is obviously poorly planned by Josh Harris. Josh Harris is not a very smart guy. He's another one that's like pretty much, he has money, but he's, he's kind of dumb. You know, he's not really planning this out well. In my honest opinion, I think you should just stay at the Wells Fargo Center because this is a team that couldn't even bring in 4,000 fans eight years ago. And you're expecting this team to just be 
a dynasty s team to where they'd get out. They can't even get out of the fucking second round. They can't even get out of the second round. You're going to build them a $1.3 billion stadium in Center City with all that traffic? Not a good idea. It's, it's, it's a really poor idea with everything I just said. But listen, enjoy your day. A lot of my videos going forward are going to be this this kind of topic because I have a lot of stuff to get off my mind, a lot of stuff to get off my chest, and hopefully you guys enjoy these videos because there's going to be more to come. Uh, with that said, I'm out. It's a horrible idea, and uh, bye.